So tell us about the program each airline has that makes the delay cancellation decision. You say America nicknamed theirs the cancellator. Yes, they did, because in any event of a storm, you need to come up with a, a rationale for canceling flights. And Americans includes, for instance, where are my crews? Where are my planes? How do I preserve uh, enough of the schedule and enough of my revenue and make it all work? And that's what the cancellator does, because you need to cancel some flights. So it's more than the weather. It's a complicated. Oh, yeah. It's, think of this as a, um, an equation with so many variables in it. In fact, I talked to uh, one consultant who said you can't solve for everything. If you solve for the crew, you can't necessarily solve for the planes. For instance, they need maintenance, regular maintenance checks, and you, you have to abide uh, by that schedule. And then what about your passengers? You know, some of them are on uh, very high uh, price tickets, some are on lower price tickets. So you want to preserve, take care of your best oh, customers. Well, well too. let's talk about that because um, all flights are not created equal and it has well, nothing to do with the number of crew available or the weather. Well, yes, it does. It's all of sort of a balancing act, but um, if, you, if you weight things, then you might say that uh, a plane full of uh, business travelers who are then connecting somewhere is much more valuable than a plane full of uh, vacationers who are going to be terminators. That's a term I heard. If, you're, if they're not going on anywhere, then you can, you can uh, more safely cancel their flight. Why can you more safely cancel their flight? Because they're Be not repeat customers? Well, everyone is a repeat customer, and everyone loses in this game. I lost uh, on the way back. My flight was canceled. So it's a question of how do I rationalize it? How do I um, keep the planes where I need them, the crews where I need them, and the most uh, important passengers in terms of uh, who, are, who are they connecting, are they going internationally, mm -hmm. these things all factor in. For instance, an international flight is much less likely to be canceled than a domestic flight. A flight going hub to hub where there's lots of service, that can be canceled more easily because there's more reaccommodation, and reaccom is, is a term you hear a lot.